There is a lot of confusion over the new FAA Part 107 rules regarding flying over people and remote ID. The rollout wasn't clean, a lot of people disagree with the final rule, and a lot just don't care. And one of the biggest points of confusion is the declaration of compliance. How do you get a declaration of compliance? How do you know if you have one? What can you even do with a declaration of compliance? So I want to try and clear up some of that confusion in this video. And although I am an FAA certified flight instructor, I do not work for or represent the FAA. I'm just here to help you understand the rules as they're written. So what is a declaration of compliance? Simply put, a declaration of compliance, which we'll just abbreviate DOC from now on, is a letter stating that your drone meets certain technical specifications to operate under certain rules. Like to participate over sustained flight over people, your drone needs to meet certain safety requirements. It can't be so heavy that if it fell out of the sky, it would completely crush someone. So if it meets those requirements, it gets a DOC certifying that it is allowed to fly over people. And there are currently two types of DOCs, a remote ID DOC and a DOC for flying over people. These two DOCs allow you to operate under two different parts of the FAA regulations. A remote ID DOC is not the same as a DOC to fly over people and vice versa. They're two completely separate things. So let's look at these DOCs further, starting with remote ID. Remote ID is outlined in the Federal Aviation Regulations, Part 89, and starting in September of 2023, all drones operating under Part 107 and any other drones over 0.55 pounds must broadcast remote ID, unless they're in an FAA recognized identification area, which is a whole other controversial topic. The FAA has determined some technical standards for meeting these remote ID requirements. And these don't actually matter to you as an operator unless you're building a remote ID module yourself. But if your drone does meet these remote ID requirements, it will be issued a DOC for remote ID. It's simply a certificate stating that it meets the technical standards for remote ID and grants you all the benefits of having remote ID capability, which we expect to include things like flying beyond line of sight and other privileges. Now let's look at operations over people. Flying over open assemblies of people is the main purpose of an operations over people declaration of compliance. For part 107 operations, you no longer need to apply for a waiver if your drone meets the safety requirements and has a DOC for operations over people. FAA part 107 subpart D outlines the four categories for flying over people without a waiver. Summing those up, category one is for drones weighing 0.55 pounds or less. A DOC for operations over people is not required, but a remote ID DOC is. For category two, a category two operations over people DOC is required as well as a remote ID DOC. For category three, a category three operations over people DOC is required, but a remote ID DOC is not required. And for category four, which is going to be like your large unmanned air taxis and delivery drones, a more robust airworthiness certificate is required in place of an operations over people DOC and a remote ID DOC is required for category four. There are other requirements for operating in the above categories. This is just to outline the types of DOCs required. As you can see, operations over people DOCs are only required or issued for two categories, category two and three. Remote ID DOCs are required for categories one, two, and four. Another point of confusion is how you actually obtain your DOCs. There is nothing that you can do to apply for any of these DOCs unless you're building drones or remote ID modules yourself. So don't email the FAA asking for a DOC if you're flying a commercially built drone, like from DJI, Autel, or Skydio, 
those manufacturers are the ones responsible for the paperwork and applying for these declarations of compliance. They'll appear on the FAA's public DOC list once it's cleared through the FAA, and this is where you'll obtain a DOC if your manufacturer has been approved. You just go to the website and print it out. There's no applications required. The FAA's DOC list is getting larger and larger every day. They do have filter and search features to help you find the documents that apply to you. You can use the filter to search by remote ID or operations over people, OOP. As of this video, here at the end of February 2023, only one unmanned aircraft has an operations over people DOC. There's a lot of drones with remote ID DOCs now, so you can use the search bar to narrow down the list by your manufacturer or model. Just click on view to print out your DOC and make sure it is indeed the appropriate declaration of compliance that you need for your type of operation, either remote ID or operations over people. So I hope this clears up any questions you have about obtaining declarations of compliance and the differences between the two types of declarations of compliance. The FAA's list is growing daily, so just be patient if you have a commercially available drone. And like your registration certificate and your remote pilot certificate, if required, this is another piece of paperwork that you'll need to keep with your drone while you're flying. And if you don't have your remote pilot certificate yet and want to do so, that's always a great idea. My remote pilot course does cover remote ID and operations over people in depth, and you can use the link in the description here to save 25 bucks on that course. So please let me know if you have any questions about declarations of compliance in the comments here, and we'll see you in the next video.